Bobby and Athena, held captive by pirates, insist that Norman is innocent and without the dongle, but their pleas fall on deaf ears. The situation escalates when the pirate's leader, dismissing their claims, and shoots Norman. In the chaos, Athena cleverly shifts blame onto Julian, revealing his secret relationship with Lola. This leads to the discovery of the dongle with Julian, prompting the pirates to leave the ship. Athena enlists the aid of the ship's doctor, who is overwhelmed by the sight of the gunshot wound. Hen and Chimney respond to a car accident, encountering an unharmed yet defiant driver responsible for the crash who threatens legal action against them. Hen decides to not help the man because of his defiant nature and goes to help the victims, a mother and daughter, who are very cooperative and happy for the help. The defiant man passes out, but Hen goes to attempt a life-saving intervention before they send him to the hospital. Norman is stable but needs a surgeon. Athena and Bobby head to the bridge to speak with the captain, but then notice Julian has run off. Hen tells Chim that the man died at the hospital and that the chief wants to talk to her. He tells her the man's name was Kyle Ortiz and that his mother is Councilwoman Ortiz. Hen reassures the chief that she followed protocol and that Kyle refused care. The chief tells her she is off duty and to go home until the talk screen comes in. Athena finds Julian and arrests him, and the captain of the cruise tries to reconnect contact to call for help. But as their reconnection reaches 100%, a bomb blows and rocks the ship. Hen is upset that her team doesn't have her back when they say they didn't smell any alcohol on Kyle when they were working with him at the scene. Athena and Julian are trapped, but Julian resists helping her. But she forces him to lead them to safety. Bobby leaves Norman, who is stable now, to go and find Athena. Athena and Julian find the chief communicator dead in the water, but then find the captain of the cruise ship and free her with Julian's help. The captain tells them that they need to launch all lifeboats. The captain tells Athena to turn on the pumps so there will be enough time for everyone to get to safety before the cruise ship sinks. Hen talks with Karen about the crash victim, and then Hen tries calling Athena, but then Karen tells her about the hurricane, which alarms Hen, realizing that might be the reason why her phone call doesn't go through. Bobby is looking for Athena as the hurricane arrives with pouring rain and lightning. They start to lower the lifeboats, and the captain tells Bobby that Athena is trying to save the cruise ship. Hen goes and talks with Maddie, asking her for help in finding Bobby and Athena's ship because she can't find it on her app and can't get a hold of them by phone. Athena is struggling with opening a door when Bobby comes to help. Athena tries to turn on the pump, but then something short circuits which closes the door, trapping them inside. During a counseling session with Athena's counselor, Bobby reveals that they're taking the cruise as a belated honeymoon. He shares that their marriage happened rather quickly and admits to having concerns about their relationship. Bobby expresses hope that the cruise might serve as a second chance for them. Bobby and Athena are trying to break free from the pump room, but without much luck. Bobby tells Athena he is sorry that he got her into this, but Athena says she loves him and chose to be there with him. They are about to drown when the door opens up to Julian rescuing them. The chief comes and talks to Hen and tells her Kyle was double the legal limit and on drugs. Hen tells the chief she feels they should send help to look for the cruise ship because she feels something is wrong, but the chief doesn't believe her. Maddie helps Hen by calling the 911 in Mexico, where they tell her that they got a couple dozen emergency calls that dropped the same time the cruise ship went off radar. Athena and Bobby get back with the group just before a large wave hits the ship, sending them rolling, causing numerous injuries to many of them, with one of them falling to his death. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of our newest videos.